My name is Ankur Gupta. I'm one of the comprehensive ophthalmologists here at Virginia Eye Institute. Um, I specialize in cataract surgery as well as refractive surgery. The LASIK is a, um, a type of refractive surgery. Um, it's used to correct many different kinds of refractive error. So that can be myopia or nearsightedness, hyperopia or farsightedness, um, or astigmatism or some sort of combination. So LASIK involves two main steps. Um, the first step is to create a partial thickness corneal flap. Um, we then peel this flap back and then expose the underlying corneal tissue. We then use the laser to apply treatment to this tissue, um, which corrects for your refractive error. Um, then that corneal flap is replaced back in its original position, and that seals to itself within a couple minutes. Here at Virginia Eye Institute, we offer custom wavefront guided uh, LASIK. Um, in that approach, we, we map the surface of the eye, and we use that information to create a customized treatment pattern for every specific eye. Um, this can lead to not only um, more accurate treatments, but also a better quality of vision overall. In addition to um, having the most uh, advanced technologies available in LASIK today, I think Virginia Eye Institute really just offers the whole breadth of care around the experience itself. We were fortunate enough to be able to have our own ambulatory surgery center, which is right next door to the, the clinic building where we perform all of our LASIK evaluations. Um, I think this adds uh, an element of convenience and peace of mind for the patient and their families that you know you, you know the, the whole facility, you know, it's all connected and you know exactly what kind of people you're getting to work with. I think it's pretty amazing to see the, the dramatic effect that um, a successful LASIK procedure can have on somebody's quality of life. Um, generally, the patients are have been reliant on thick glasses or contacts um, for their entire lives and they're able to come in on the first day after surgery not needing anything at all. Um, I think it's a it's a pretty cool emotion, both, both for the patient um, but also for us as providers as well.